There is another way we use a torque wrench, and that's to measure the torque angle. I touched on this briefly here when I was talking about tightening up cylinder head bolts. This is a common theme nowadays. A lot of bolts that are used to assemble engines are what they call torque to yield bolts, which means they're just basically stretching the bolt out in order to get the clamping force they want. In order to do that, they're asking you to tighten it to a certain angle. Now, if you're doing a 90 degree angle, that's pretty easy to, to kind of see. Um, not 100% accurate without some accurate tools, but at least you can get you in the ballpark. Sometimes they're doing 80 degrees on some of these things, or they might be doing 60 degrees. It's just not so obvious when you do that. So you need a device to use, and a standard torque wrench, this click style, won't do it for you. You know, this is not going to give you torque angle. It's only giving you uh, a tightening specification in foot pounds or newton meters or some other uh, measurement. Whereas I would have to use a tool like this. This is called a torque angle gauge. And this is used to precisely measure how many degrees you've turned the bolt. Now this tool has got some drawbacks to it. We can't uh, ratchet with it. And once you get started, you kind of need to do one consistent pull nice and even. Now, if you've ever put any engines together, some of these head bolts are so tight, we've got to have somebody holding the engine on a stand so nothing twists on it. And I got one foot up on the engine stand while I'm trying to twist this thing. It can be a cumbersome process. It's not easy to get a torque angle done properly uh, without stopping sometimes. So um, this is really not uh, the best way either. And that's kind of why I've upgraded my assortment here to these digital torque wrenches. These have torque angle measurements in them that are very precise. It allows you to stop and start again and still measure exactly the torque angle that you need. And it also allows you to ratchet on these.